Hi guys, Robbie 46 here and welcome back to MotoGP 14 in the last race. It was a wet race at Mizano and now we're racing at Aragon which is wet again. I don't like Aragon. It's a really strange circuit. I'm still on hard difficulty, don't worry I haven't changed. And I think that we're going to have a difficult race. Especially with that back straight and the fact that I don't like this circuit at all anyway. So we just got to try and keep them at bay as best we can and hope for the best which I don't know we're keeping them behind us at the moment again like Mazzano had to do so many laps in um, practice and qualifying and it was raining in the practice sessions and when I get to the corner um, I'll say what I'm going to say this corner coming up now when when it was raining sorry this bit here when it was raining I couldn't even see where the track was going so I kind of just had to guess So we've got half second lead at the moment, which is good. But I'm expecting that to go completely coming onto the straight. I've fully upgraded my bike now, so I can't do anything more to it. And here we go. Oh, spun up a little bit. Well, the arrows actually disappeared. Maybe I got out of there a bit better than they did. 0.6 of a second. This corner could be tricky. Try to break as late as you can. That was too late. Too wide. And I messed that up completely. Oh shit. Well that's that wasn't the best last corner. Now I've got to try and overtake both these into the first corner. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Got him. Okay, so I did break too late on the last corner. You got to try and break as late as you can, but not that late, because otherwise you will go off. Because you got to try and get a, a late apex and bring it back, because there's a little kink right at the a end of the corner, which puts you onto the straight. That's what you want to be aiming for. Then you can go flat out. Which hopefully I can do this time. Only 0.2 of a second. That's not what I want. But the track is drying out, so I should be able to go quicker and quicker. And start to go uphill. Now that I can actually see the track, I know where it goes. Yeah, they're still right behind me. Can't be much of a gap at all, really. Next split, halfway down this straight. That was better out of there, didn't spin up. Yeah, I pulled away. It's got to be about half a second again. 0.8, almost a full second. Right, try not to break as late this time. There we do. Get a little bit wide. Which is what we want. And then start bringing it back for this little kink here. And you can take that flat out without going wide. Half a second. So they've caught me by 0.3 of a second. Okay. Last lap, let's try to stretch it even more. Track's pretty much dry now, there will be a few wet patches, don't really want to go out there. Ride the curb. Point 
0.6 of a second. I don't think it's going to be a massive gap by the end of the race. Oh, they're still right behind me. One point one, yes, that's that's what I want. All right, come on to the back straight. Let's get out of it. Well, oh, spun up there. That's I don't think that's a second. It might be, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> Save for one and a half seconds. So, final corner. Can go a bit wide. And just bring it back. And there we go. Across the line. And another win. They were really close. How, how close was that? Finishes make 1.7. Let's have a look at the final. So extend my lead to 71 points. That was definitely a difficult race. I, I wasn't really expecting to win. Because just the fact that I don't like Aragon. His race today was simply perfect. He and his team deserve to bask in every moment of this glory. It's the fruit of a lot of hard work. Yes, yes it is. So that's a few wins on the bounce now. And a really good lead in the championship. Almost three race wins worth. And Lorenzo won the MotoGP race. Okay, so now it's testing time at Aragon still. But I don't think I've, there's actually... I can't do anything to my bike, so I've leveled it up as far as I can. I wasn't actually expecting to still have to do testing, but apparently we do. So let's do one fly flying lap, and then we can move on. At least it's dry. Which always seems to be the case in, in real life. Usually they'll have a wet race and then if they have testing on the Monday it's usually sunny. But I think this year it's been the other way around. I think they've had dry races and then they go to do testing and it seems to be raining. Oh, a bit too wide there. So 202.8 is to beat. Hopefully I should beat that. I should do. Don't have to worry about anyone else on track.
Oh. You got the uphill section. A little bit too wide there. This corner you have to be so careful at because if you go a bit in too hot and you put the brakes on too much you will lose the front. Then the little chicane before the back straight and then power. I think this is going to be quite a close time actually. It is going to be very close. Oh god. Come on. Oh god. I'm not going to make it. I don't think I made it. I think I made it. <laughs> I made it by three temps. Whew. I didn't think I made it then. <laughs> that was very close. So next race at, at, is at Japan. Mategi. I don't mind this circuit, but you have to be really, really on it. You have to make sure every corner is perfect to uh, have a good chance. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I shall see you guys in the next race, which is Mategi. And I'll see you there. See you.